So Hogan turns heel, he joins the NWO, and then at the end of 96 or the end of 97, his contract's up. You have to renegotiate with him. Where are you, do you think he spoke to Vince McMahon? Whether I know he, he did. So I, was with him. I was with him. Not, I had not in the meeting with, with Vince, but we were in Denver. We had a show in Denver, a Nitro in Denver. And I had gotten together with Hall. I think I'd probably during the show, because um, we shared a locker room, a dressing room. And uh, we were riffing, probably drinking a beer before the, sh before the show. And he said, hey, man, I just want to let you know, because you're going to probably hear about it anyway. I'm going to meet with Vince called me and wants to meet me after Nitro. Vince flew to Denver and stayed at a hotel in Denver waiting for Hulk to get done with Nitro so they could have a meeting around midnight. And Hulk told me, because I'm going to meet with him. I said, cool. Because I don't think anything's going to come of it. I'll keep you posted. I said, great. Had another couple beers. He did the show. He went his way. I went back to the hotel. And next morning, we got together for breakfast or whatever it was. Maybe we flew back together. I don't remember. I said, how'd it go? He goes, same old, same old. I, I wasn't worried. The well, fact that he told me that he was going to meet with Vince told me that he wasn't going to do a deal. Because if he was thinking about doing a deal, he wouldn't have told me. And do you think he just, he knew if he went back, it would be old hat? Or do you think it was the money that kept him? Or No, wish? it wasn't a money issue. It was a Vince, Hulk and Vince to this day have the strangest love-hate relationship of anybody I've ever met. It, it's bizarre. Um, but I, it, it wasn't the money. It's Hulk. I'm speaking out of school here a little bit, but my impression, just my impression, not a fact, it's just my impression, having spent a significant amount of time discussing the subject. But... The conflict between Hulk and Vince, in my opinion, from Hulk's perspective is, Hulk felt like he should have been Vince's business partner. Hulk really believed that the two were, you know, Hulk couldn't have done it without Vince, but Vince couldn't have done it without Hulk. Without Hulk. Hulk moved up to Connecticut, and if you know Hulk Hogan, for Hulk Hogan to pick up and move from Florida to frickin' Connecticut <laughs> is a massive, massive seismic shift. But he did it, and he did it thinking that Vince would at least offer him part of the company because Hulk was so responsible for the growth, the accelerated growth in the WWF at the time. And Vince flat out told him, no, you're not a part of my family. You'll never own a piece of this company. They love each other to this day. I'm sure they do. I know they do. But that sticking point will never, ever go away. And that's why I didn't think he'd ever go back. It wasn't the money. Hulk, it, when, I, when I hired Hulk, he had, I'm not going to say the number, but it was tens of millions of dollars in cash with no bills, no debt, house paid for, everything he owned was paid for. He had tens of millions of dollars in the bank. He didn't need the money. And he also didn't want to work 250 or 300 days out of the year, which is another big factor because he knew if you go back to WWE, you're, you're Hulk Hogan, you're going to be on the road a lot. When you're not in the ring, you're going to be meeting with pay-per-view companies and advertisers and Make-A-Wish Foundation and this and that. The, the work in the ring was the easy part. The hard part was the stuff you're doing outside of the ring. And that was another reason I wasn't too worried about it.